If there's one question I get asked the most, it would probably have to be, how do I enjoy Minecraft enough to make a world that lasts this long? Because the thing is, I am completely aware that some people are not actually able to have the time to do all of this. So today, I am going to teach you how to be able to build worlds like this easily. But anyways, hey guys, welcome back to the Let's Play. Today we're just going to be playing some Minecraft, and I'm going to teach you guys how to enjoy Minecraft more. Now, the biggest thing you could probably do to enjoy Minecraft more is find what your interests are and build in those styles. And even experiment with new styles so you can be able to build everything you want. And even though it might not look good at first, you will get better with practice and time, and eventually you will be able to build like this. And honestly, when I first started Minecraft, I did not know how to build at all. I was just the worst builder you could ever imagine. But I practiced, and eventually it came to become good, and now I'm actually able to build like this. So that is probably the biggest thing you could do for yourself. Another one of the biggest things you could do for your world to make it look better is just build these little structures, like right here. I built this little well. Now, am I actually going to need to use this well? No, but it really does add a lot to the world when you add up all this stuff. And same with this. I added a little pile of barrels. Now, I'm never actually going to use these barrels, but still, it's just a really good addition to add for your world. Another really good thing you can do for your world is expanding onto your base. So you'll never actually make a new base, you'll just expand onto your old one. Like before, it was just this singular tower right here, but then I expanded this way, and then over there, and then over there, and on and on, and it will really add up over a while. Now, you won't probably be able to do all this stuff instantly, but over time, your base will really add up, and it will start to look really good. Another thing you can do to add onto your base is add age to it. Like, honestly, so this base isn't that old. It's only around two months old. But I started adding vines and cracked stone bricks. And honestly, over time, it will really add up and really make a good look for your base. You can always just add on to your world by just making a bunch of big projects so you'll never be bored in it. See, one big project I have is this base. And then if we go over here, I had that mob farm I built, and that was a pretty big project. But if we go over here, I'm making an entire custom island. So I'll always have something to do. So let's say I don't want to work on the base right now. I can go over and work on the custom island. So always have just a bunch of big projects to work on so you'll never be bored in your world. And also, don't create too many automatic farms, because if you just have automatic farms doing everything for you, then you'll never have to go out to go get stone if you have a cobblestone generator, or you'll never have to do any farming if you have automatic farms doing stuff for you, so it'll just take away stuff you can do in your world, which will really start to make it more boring quick. Build little secret areas in your house. Like right here I have this house and it just looks like a normal house. But you go down here and you have an entire underground little pond. Even with a glow squid in it. So just adding a bunch of secret areas to your world will really make it look a lot cooler for people that visit the world and for yourself. So just make sure you put that in mind. Now this one might seem like an obvious one. But have some pets in your world, honestly. It will really just add to the feel of your world and make it just more just all-seeing for you. It'll just make the world a lot better. See, right here I got Mr. Schniffles, my cat, and he just he's the protector of the bed. I really like him. Another thing you can do is never repair your base back to normal. Like, see, right here, a creeper exploded, but I didn't just add the floorboards back with the slabs. I went and used trapdoors here to make it look like something actually happened here, and this is just my way of repairing it. And another thing, even though I make it look easy and I say make all these big projects, don't have unrealistic standards, because that's probably one of the biggest things that you could do to just make your world more boring. If you just have unrealistic standards and stuff you know you probably won't be able to complete for years, 
it's just gonna make your world more boring very fast. Like right here, see I'm used to doing so much mega projects that this island actually isn't that big of a task for me. But see, if I were to make this island into a whole continent, I've never done that before. So it would be really boring really fast, just having to go out and collect dirt all the time. You can also clean up your world. Like, see, right here I placed all these copper blocks down for the wax on, wax off achievement. But honestly, just having all these creeper explosions and random builds around your base will really just make it look uglier really fast. And see, over there... I got all the, that random dirt, and honestly, that just removes the feel from the world. So just make sure your world is nice and clean. So just sometimes maybe go around and get rid of all the blocks like this. Or fill in creeper holes, maybe build a thing or two. Experiment with stuff, because see, right here, I thought all this glow lichen would grow more like vines, but it didn't, and I didn't know that until I tried it. Same with the dripstone, I thought the dripstone would grow, so I tried making a little dripstone area. But it didn't end up growing, so now I know that for the future. You can make custom terrain through your world. Like right here, I made my own little river that goes down to the giant stream over there. And I added all these plants and foliage, and it just really adds to the feel of your world. I also added a hanging light here. And now I know my base isn't complete, and I still have so much more to go through my base. This was just a short video to help you guys know how to play Minecraft more enjoyably. So hopefully this quick tips and tricks video helped you guys, and maybe you'll be able to create a big world like mine someday. So anyways, make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and maybe even go follow my Twitch. But anyways, goodbye.